Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Today, we're going to discuss medications that end in PRIL. The end of the medication is P-R-I-L, PRIL. First off, as with all my videos, this is informational only. It's not intended to serve as a substitute for a healthcare provider. So medications ending in PRIL, we're talking Captopril, Enalapril, Fosinopril, Lisinopril, Moexpril, Quinopril, Ramapril, Trendolapril. What's the deal? They're all in the same family. They're all um, oftentimes with medication names. You can tell just by looking at the name uh, what family the medicine belongs to. In this case, they're all what are known as ACE inhibitors. ACE inhibitors inhibit angiotensin converting enzyme. What happens when you inhibit that? You get vasodilation meaning blood vessels relax and that is going to help lower blood pressure um, and that's the primary use is to treat high blood pressure it also decreases a substance called aldosterone and that has the effect of encouraging the body to get rid of fluid and sodium again that will help lower blood pressure as well it does uh, retain potassium uh, when you decrease the aldosterone so that can sometimes lead to side effects so what are they used for again? Uh, high blood pressure, we mentioned. It's used to help with heart failure. It's used uh, to slow a condition known as left ventricle dysfunction. Um, and it is sometimes used in certain diabetics to preserve kidney function um, <clears throat> and other kidney issues. Occasionally it's used often at a low dose to help preserve the kidney function. So, so side effects as a whole are pretty rare. Um, ACE inhibitors generally tolerated really well. Um, any blood pressure medication, of course, you can get some dizziness, fatigue, headache, insomnia, weakness. Now, cough can occur. We're talking about about one in 30. They kind of get like a dry tickle in their throat or a dry, hacky cough. You do have to stop the medication for that to resolve. You often have to switch to a different medication entirely. Rash can occur. Hypotension, that just means uh, basically it's working too well it's, and it takes your blood pressure too low. Um, the dose may need to be adjusted or you just need to make sure you don't get de dehydrated when you're on blood pressure medication. Angina or heart pain can occur, tachycardia, rapid heartbeat, nausea, diarrhea, hyperkalemia. So I touched on this briefly, Hyper that just means high potassium. Um, the This medicine, it can cause your body to retain potassium, usually not an issue. But your doctor will monitor to make sure your potassium levels don't get high. And then an extremely rare condition called angioedema, where you get swelling of the face, the lips, and the tongue. That can occur. That is more like 1 in 300 that can occur in, generally on the first dose or so. So that would be something you want to watch for right away when you start the medication. But again, extremely rare. Monitoring, again, we talked about the swelling of the face and lips, that angioedema that can occur during the first dose. Of course, blood pressure, we want to make sure that it is controlling blood pressure and not too well, causing low blood pressure, which could make you feel faint or dizzy. You can monitor your weight because of the fluid loss. Uh, potassium, again, we talked about that. Liver functions, uh, complete blood cell count, and others. That's your standard monitoring. Uh, so Captopril. That is was sold, I don't even think the brand name's available anymore. Capitan was the brand name. Um, 12 and a half, 25, 50, 100 milligram. It really is not the drug of choice anymore. Um, generally started 25 milligrams, two to three times a day with a maximum of 200 milligrams. And Nalapril, still somewhat common. That was sold in the US under the brand name Vasotec, two and a half, five, 10, 20 milligram tablets. Usually started in the neighborhood of 10 milligrams a day, maxing out about 40. Fosinopril was sold under the brand name Monopril, not super common, um, 10, 20, and 40. Usually started uh, around 10 with no more than 80 milligrams per day. Um, Lisinopril, I would say that is probably the most common ACE inhibitor, at least in the U.S. It was sold under the brand name Prinavil and Zestril, available 2.5, 5, 10, and 20 milligram tablets. Generally, we started around that uh, 10 milligram per day mark. Sometimes if you're using it just for kidney uh, preservation, often that low dose, if there's no associated high blood pressure, you'll see that used in diabetics sometimes. And typically maxing out about 80 milligrams per day. 
Uh, Moaxapril was sold under the brand name Univask. Not uh, super common. Uh, 7.5, 15-milligram tablet. Generally, you start in that 7.5 uh, with a maximum of 60, 60 milligrams per day. Quinapril, uh, Acupril was the brand name. 5, 10, 20, and 40-milligram tablets. Generally, it started around 10 milligrams a day up to a max in the neighborhood of 80 milligrams. Ramapril, or that was sold under the brand name Altace. Um, it might still be available. Uh, 1.25, 2.5, 5, and 10 milligram. Generally started around 2, 2.5 milligrams a day with a max of 20 milligrams a day. Trandolapril was sold under the brand name Mavic. Uh, 1, 2, and 4 milligram. Usually you're starting at 1 milligrams a day with a max of 4 milligrams twice a day. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like videos, if you like my videos, I'd appreciate it if you'd like this one and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and ask any questions in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. And I thank you again for watching.